What's good? This is Kosher. We're down in uh, Monk's Bar in uh, Missoula, Montana. I'm going to do a Kung Fu Vampire right here all the way from San Jose. Um, anyways, we're about to do this interview for One Nation Magazine and my guy, Young Jay. Uh, first question I got for you, bro, is for the fans that might not know about Kung Fu Vampire, let them know a little bit about yourself. Shit, man. I'm an uh, experimental hip-hop artist. I come from the Bay Area, if you guys don't know what that is, it's San Francisco, Oakland, San Jose. And um, what I do, man, is I have a live band. We, we mix everything from, you know, funk to gothic to, to straight, extremely lyrical hip hop, man. And I just love what I do. I've got, I own, everything that I do is trademarked, copywritten, and it's, it's my own thing. It's a true independent hustle, man. And it's like, it, it developed from something in my mind. It wasn't influenced by... Uh, existing hip hop or existing rock music or whatever is out there, it all just came from things that I wanted to do. So, yeah, man, check out kungfuvampire.com if you uh, want to know more. That's what's up. Um, recently, uh, you're gonna cut this out, Jay, but uh, so he asked me, he asked me to ask you. Uh, I see Kung Fu and Dracula are a big influence on how you do they. <laughs> On how you do your shit, how do they influence your uh, music? Well, I don't how Kung Fu and Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> man, you know, I come from the Blade days. To me, he's the only legitimate vampire, man. I'm a fucking daywalker. And the thing with my shit is, is that, like, people always uh, think that I'm into this Halloween, you know, monster kind of aspect of vampirism. And I like to, I have to like dispel those rumors every time. I have to kind of clarify with people that what I do is the vampiric side of me is about like longevity and like long life and health and my thirst for blood and suppressing anger. You know what I mean? That's like kind of like a yin and yang. Kung Fu's the yin energy, vampire's the yang. And, I, and together they explode and become one on stage. So when I step off stage, I can enjoy my life and be a happy person. You know what I mean? So... It's like the Dracula thing. I mean, that's not really a big influence on what I do. Um, I slick my hair back now, so of course it kind of has a Dracula feel. But really, I just want to grow my fucking hair out. What's the order? And besides, you go off that question. What's the? I, me personally, what's the? Uh, the third blood? What's, what's that? Basically, man, like. A lot of people, like, for instance, we were talking earlier about when you go to the club scene, right? You go downtown to clubs. Like, me personally, when I go to a club, if I'm out with my friends, I'm, you're never going to catch me in a better mood. Like, I'm out to have fun. If I get a little drink in me, there's going to be some high fives, some hugs. I'll talk to dudes I don't know, high five them, meet them, learn about their life. But there's this whole aspect of people who go out, they puff their chest, and they want to get upset at people, and get mad and act tough and it's just something I don't I don't understand at all is that anger shit so for me I just think a lot of people need more outlets for, for their anger and, and their thirst for blood because like me like I, I am kind of a crazy evil person but I would never hurt people unless you really you know come at me Jersey Shore style come at me bro <laughs> nah but like yeah, I, I just found that out on this tour. So we don't watch TV back at home. We watch Netflix and shit. Movies. But, but, yeah, movies. Thank you know you. what I mean? Movies, bro. But, you know, since we uh, when we're on the road, we're in hotels. And uh, I, I just finally saw Jersey Shore the other day and found out that Come At Me, Bro was fucking Jersey Shore. That's the greatest saying ever. Come at me, bro. But, you know, that whole, like, tough guy shit. Like, we all thirst for blood, man. But you need to suppress that and act like an adult. If you're a teenager, act like a teenager, have fun, get pussy, smoke weed, do things that are fun. Don't hurt people, man. That's a ridiculous thing to do. You know, unless you get in my face, we're not going to have any issues, you know. I don't care what you say or, you know, once I start drinking, I'm happy. I'm already happy as is. So, you know, the thirst for blood for me is like, I'm, I'm actually just thirsting for the healthy blood. I want that, the blood of life. You know, I want to live a long, long life. If I die tomorrow, it, it is what it is, but... You know, for now, I just want to be healthy and yeah, I'd like to live to be 100 and enjoy the whole thing. You know what I mean? So, I just recommend people find an outlet, man. I found mine. If you got a lot of, uh, if you got a, too much testosterone, hit the gym. <laughs> Drink a crowded Coke. Get some abs. Word. Bust a big nut, I say!
Alright, uh, my next question is, uh, recently you were featured on a huge independent song, Zombies, with uh, E-40, Tech 9 Brother Lynch, and uh, we just want to know how you felt about that collab. Man, honestly, like, I feel very mixed about it. Um, a, I should have had a verse on it. If I would have, I would have fucking murdered it, period. I think all the fans know that. My style, I'm not a lazy rapper. Like, I would have definitely put my all into it. And uh, B, it's a great honor to be a part of something so huge. I mean, I don't think there's any hip-hop fan who doesn't recognize and respect one of those three rappers, if not all three. I mean, Jesus Christ, Brother Lynch Hung made up the whole dark core core shit. You could say it was Ghetto Boys or Esham or ICP, but really, Brother Lynch brought that shit first. The dark shit. Um, and he's lyrical and has one of the most distinctive voices in the game. Then you've got Tech 9 who's probably the best rapper to ever walk the face of the earth. And then you've got E-40, who's probably the most influential slang term using rapper in the history of the game. And a, another very distinctive voice, so to be us four on the same track, it's like, in the same video, it's a great thing, it's a great vibe, and I'm glad E-40 and his people called me. Thank you, it was fun. Um, do you have any future plans to sign with a label, or are you just going to do your own thing for a while? Well, I don't have any plans for that. Um, I don't think I fit on any labels. Obviously, you know, what I'm doing now with Mad Insanity Records and Mars, we're just independent. We're 100% independent. Him and I both are, are single entities. We don't have, like, someone telling us what to do. Nobody tells me what to do. I do what I want, when I want, how I want. You know what I mean? So, for me, it's just independent all day, bro. I mean, we're on a 50-city tour, 48-city tour that we booked ourselves. We have a new album out. Show them the record, bro. This motherfucker right here. Halloween right, 2012. Let's keep this. Let's get that. I got that shit early. Oh, yeah. That's because, bitch. Man, that's copy, man. All right, Halloween. Y'all better peep the new Kung Halloween. Fu Vampire album. So, we're staying independent, bro. If we can, if we can, uh, if we can do our own tour like this, I don't know what else a label can do for me. I'd love, I'd love some strange music YouTube hits. I'd love some hops and YouTube hits. But you know what? I make music to have fun and connect to fans, not to, not to get hits and fans, so if it comes with making good music, cool. Okay. Um, next question is, uh, do you have any future projects and uh, works, like albums, tour, big events, besides the one you're on right now, which is Love Bites? Uh, the plan right now is to push this Love Bites album. I think it's a good, it's a good record. It might even be an excellent record, but that's up to you, the listener. Uh, 13 banging tracks. And uh, self-produced, me and my boy Chris Paxton. And, and basically, man, the next project's gonna be an EP of weird, obscure stuff that didn't make the record. We got a Hobson feature that didn't make the record, uh, E40 feature that didn't get on the record in time, so many things like that. But really, um, just having fun with this record and see how far we can push it. Okay. Um, coming close to the last couple questions. Um, can you, or if you could fight anybody in the world, to join your clan, who would it be and why? God, I always forget her name, but she's my favorite person on the planet, other than my family. Um, damn, who was the chick on Talk Soup for a little while? Back in the day, the comedian. She's in that uh, the ping pong movie. Uh, she's, she's the really tall black girl. Aisha Tyler, is that her name? Aisha Tyler? That is my favorite person. Jesus Christ, give me Aisha Tyler. Give her to me. She was on that ping pong movie with Christopher Walken. What's it called? Balls of Fury. She killed the dude on Balls of Fury. If you are a human being, male or female, and you don't think Aisha Tyler is the answer to all things amazing, you're a fucking idiot. That's what I said. She's black. Aisha Tyler is <laughs> you don't like black, he don't like black people. He did the little, I don't like black people thing. No, He's he got the white girl diaries, man. I think he's black. I don't even know what the fuck's going yeah, on here. I'm mixed, I'm mixed for that. He's black, white, Asian, and Mexican, I think. Nah, but Aisha Tyler would be the first bitch, <laughs> first bitch to join my clan. Aisha, you're funny and beautiful and amazing. I mean, she just she to the shit. Okay, uh, last question. 
So, uh, AJ, what kind of women you like? <laughs> women with pigment. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Pigment bitches, those are the best. I like pigment bitches. <laughs> Even right. if they go to tan they could be the whitest Irish bitch. If they go to a tanning salon, we got pigment. We're good. If you're cellophane, if you're cellophane clear or, or lighter than peach color, what about, I don't know. What about the orange bitches though? I don't fuck with the orange bitches. Though. You know the ones. No, I'm talking like orange, like fake tan, uh, gone wrong. I don't think anybody likes that. Okay. Uh, Last question. Um, can you explain what a grinder is? Um, if you can film... Alright, oh, no, that's fine. Can you explain what a grinder is? Uh, a grinder is usually a stainless steel circular device that you open and you insert medical marijuana in medical. and twist. And then it comes out as powder and you roll a joint with it. Uh, also a grinder is somebody who does anything and everything to get to where he's trying to get. Uh, grinding hard, doesn't matter what it is. You know, just sitting at the computer all day, hitting the gym, hitting the tours, playing places like this, Missoula, Montana in the winter. Grinding as hard as possible, man, that's a grinder. The third type of grinder is uh, a guido that you would see at a nightclub with the silver shiny shirt. Uh, opened up about to yay with a lot of hair coming out up on a chick like similar to this grinder. that's a grinder um, yeah those are grinders those are three types of grinders is there another type of grinder so which one are you you're glitched out man those three. I didn't hear the first three. Oh, I think there's three types of grinders those are the three yeah we know which one you are you're glitched out man I'm a glitched out grinder working that's right. too hard till your brain glitches out I'm not the Guido <laughs> grinder at the club, grinding on legs. I'm not that grinder. You know, you say you don't dress up, you know, I'm just oh, you know, right. Sometimes incognito, you know what I'm saying? You pull the beard back, incognito. Grind. Oh, yeah. What, what I would do, just, you know, if I ever, like, have to flee, just picture Kung Fu Vampire <laughs> with blonde eyebrows. All right. All right. No goatee. I'll put some hoop earrings in. <laughs> and dye my hair blonde and spike it forward. You're not telling them about your documentary, are you? <laughs> no, no. Okay, good. Should I tell them? I should tell them. No, Someone's going to steal my fucking idea. No, so don't tell them because then it'll ruin the entire thing. Nah. Uh, well, I, yeah, I, don't don't I have I a like documentary like coming know. out, and it involves me being somebody completely different and getting away with it. That's right. Continue. Cool. Okay. And that is your motherfucking interview. Uh, Big thanks to Liquid Assassin, Kung Fu Vampire. You know Liquid what I'm Assassin. This motherfucker is in uh, stores come October 31st. Culture, culture approved it. So if you don't fuck with us, you can suck my dick and I eat my ass and spit. <laughs>